Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr. kept a human skull in his collection of artifacts? As macabre as it sounds, the collecting of human remains was not viewed as unusual 100 years ago as it would be today. What was unusual was the purported identity of the person of whom the skull was once a part, as well as the location where Hammond stored it during his lifetime. The skull was previously kept inside the large ornate chest in Hammond Castle Museum's Great Hall. This container is notable for being one of the few Asian items in Mr. Hammond's collection, as it is a 17th century Burmese Buddhist manuscript chest. While it was previously thought to be a gift from Hammond's sister Natalie, she was likely too young to have realistically given him the chest at the time he acquired it. It has been more recently discovered that the chest was once housed in Beauport, a mansion owned by Henry Davis Sleeper, one of Hammond's close friends and a previous subject of the Hammond Weekly. Therefore, it is likely that the chest was either a gift from Sleeper, who was known to collect Asian pieces, or otherwise stored by Sleeper for Hammond for some length of time. In any event, Hammond chose this as the vessel to hold the skull, though it has now been moved to a display case to prevent further deterioration, as the chest is not ideal for storing human remains. But who did the skull belong to? And why did Hammond want it? When Hammond retraced one of Christopher Columbus's voyages in 1934, as mentioned in a previous episode on his sailing career, he collected multiple artifacts that still exist in Hammond Castle Museum. Among these was this skull. While attempting to secure two benches once owned by 16th century historian Bartolome de las Casas in the College of Santa Domingo in the Dominican Republic, Hammond was arrested alongside his guests. The reason for the arrest was based on a misunderstanding. The country was in a period of political unrest and resentment towards the United States, which had controlled it from 1916 to 1922. Believing Hammond and his guests were part of an American invasion, they were taken to a government official who fortunately recognized the famous inventor. As an apology for the mistaken arrest, Hammond was offered a gift of anything in their collection. Hammond chose the skull because it had been discovered by a 19th century German archaeologist who identified it as belonging to one of Christopher Columbus's crew members on his first voyage to the New World. Hammond left with both the skull and the benches. He also obtained floor tiles from a palace once owned by Diego Columbus, Christopher Columbus's son, which was located on the same island where he obtained the skull and benches, when it used to be known as Hispaniola. Today, they form the floor of the Gothic guest room in Hammond Castle Museum. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there is a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.